You know, Thursday is always a fun day because that means Jason Boyette is here to talk about Hey Amarillo, his weekly interview podcast focused on Amarillo people. Who knew that you would be introed with Madonna's Vogue one day? I've dreamed of it for, mm -hmm. for years and years. Mm -hmm. That day's come. It has. You've arrived, Mr. Well, Boyette. Congratulations. Thank you. thank you. Okay, today you interviewed one of my favorite people. I, yes. in Amarillo, I, you interview a lot of my favorite people, but I really, really love, first of all, I love Libby, but I love to listen to Libby talk, too. She's got a good voice. <laughs> yes, she does. Um, nice, calm, peaceful <laughs> yes. kind of demeanor. Libby has a really fascinating story. Mm -hmm. And so the, the real short pitch is when she was in college, she started designing leather handbags. Mm -hmm. And she went to a prestigious uh, school, the Art Institute of Chicago. She was kind of knee deep in the fashion world. And those things just really exploded in popularity, made their way to some of the real tastemakers in the fashion world. And so before long, she was, you know, kind of had this side gig um, that got her leather handbags in Vogue and Southern Living and, and magazines like that. Um, you know, she, she worked on it for a while and then finally decided to return to Amarillo to make them. And so she's got a long history in this area, grew up in Bushland, fourth generation farming and ranching family. And so now she's making these really high-end leather products from Amarillo. She's got customers in Japan, all over the world. Uh, and it's one of those really fascinating stories because she makes it all by hand. You know, she's a, she's a small woman and mm -hmm. she's doing this job cutting leather that typically is, you know, a burly man kind mm -hmm. of thing. The machines are huge. Huge. And yeah. like the pieces of leather are huge and they're these huge mallets. Putting Everything's just big, large. Yeah. It is. And, it, and so you, you don't look at her and you think, oh, there's a real leather worker. But she's an expert <laughs> yeah. at that kind of thing. And the other thing that I think is fascinating about it is that she's got a real reputation mm -hmm. in this world. And I've heard from several people in Amarillo who listen to the episode and they're like, I have a Libby Lane handbag. I didn't know she lived here. I thought she was some big fashion person mm -hmm. in New York or something mm -hmm. like that. Nope, she lives here, makes them here, go by hand. It's, and they're exquisite. They really are. They're absolutely beautiful. I also thought it was interesting like, to hear her inspiration of, you know, kind of what drives her and what motivates her, right? Right. She, is, she has a very close-knit family. She comes from a large family and parents that always pushed their kids toward travel and art and experiences. And those things have really defined her path. Uh, but you know, one big thing she realized as she was in the New York fashion world, as she was really striving and, and driven to create this business, was that there are more important things. And we go pretty deep in this episode mm -hmm. um, that drew her back to this area. And it's the simplicity of life, it's the friendliness of the people, it's the connection to family and the land. And she figured out, I can still have this thriving fashion industry and brand even though I'm far removed from that world and being removed from that world is an, an important part of what she's doing. It's really cool. So you guys have to listen to this. If for no other reason then it makes for a good like sort of meditation too. Because and she's <laughs> got one of those voices uh, that she's just people lovely. just enjoy listening I to. Just I just love to listen to her talk. She tells a beautiful story. Yes. Thank you so much Jess. Absolutely. We appreciate you coming in. All right stick around everybody. We're going to head straight to the distillery. Jason's going to stick around for that one. More on an upcoming whiskey event at m and Liquor when we return.